If you've clicked on this video, you are looking for a slice tip, and this is an absolute cracker of a slice tip because it helps you understand where the clubs, where the club needs to be in the backswing, how the arms need to work to help you get to the top of the backswing, but then it kind of sets you up perfectly for that transition. A lot of golfers I see take the club away quite steep, and already from here, they can't get the club flat enough to create a, a more neutral slash kind of inside to out downswing path. A lot of golfers also swing the club a little bit too much on the inside and the reality of being able to hit the ball from here on the way back into, into, the, into the impact zone is very, very difficult. So you've got to be able to move your body in the correct way to get to the top of the backswing to allow you to hit the ball from the inside or to hit the ball from a more of a neutral swing path. This tip, honestly, it's brilliant because it helps you understand it's very much kind of it's come from the, the legendary hank haney and it's very much to do with what i learned from pete cowan as well it's all about how the arms are moving in the body how we're loading up the shoulders how we're kind of working the spiral motion up to the top of the backswing and what hank haney did years ago was just kind of show a really good way of doing that and a good visual way as well so to start with once you take your setup if you just lift your arms up in the air without moving any other part of your body, just lift your arms straight up into the air. And I'm going to turn my chest back towards you guys. And straight away, you see I'm in the top of the backswing position. I'm in a really good top of the backswing position. Now, if I just lower my arms back down, because that's how they went up, all they're doing now is lowering back down. And then I turn back into the golf ball. That gives me a more of an into out swing path. So the golf swing in a nutshell is basically the rotation of the body, the lifting of the arms or the loading up of the arms. And then into the downswing, we, we reverse that. We lower the arms back down and then we rotate back into the body. And even when we go through the ball, we continue to rotate and lift up the arms on the way through. So that sort of idea of the golf swing sounds so simple. This tip, it just kind of, recreates that feeling so i would often hinge lift turn hit oh <laughs> works out well, quite well because what i've done is i've lifted i've rotated and then as i come back into the ball i'm not just going to rotate back to the ball this way because that makes the club go on the outside but what i'm going to do is lower back down so the arms in the golf swing really just do this you add your body rotation, get your hips and your shoulders working together, and then suddenly you're there, you're there, and you're down. And look where that club is now, as I come back in towards that tee peg. It's working more from the inside, and it's working, well, in terms of if you're an out to in swing pather, it's working a lot more neutral. So we can lift the club up in the air, rotate the body, and now I've got the club set. I've got the club set slightly behind my back and now I can work it down here. If the club is still a little bit steep in regards to how your hands are working, it's still relatively neutral. It might still be on the outside, but it's not gonna to be too much on the outside. So the way your body is able to get to the top of the backswing is absolutely vital. Because then it makes the transition so much easier. If I've got the club working upwards and downwards through my arms, which is all I want them to do, and my body rotating, which is all I want it to do. The hardest part of the golf swing is sequencing all that together. The common fault that we see is a, a big rotation of the body, a lift of the arms, and then that transition is often that rotation back again. And once you rotate the shoulders square towards the golf ball, the club is stuck on the outside. And then at the last minute, obviously it's got to work down. And this is when golfers hit from out to in, and they also hit down on the golf ball, which creates loads of spin and lots of loss of distances. Lots of loss. Didn't make sense, but you knew what I meant. Did you? So <laughs> what we're going to try and do, the arms are going to work upwards, the body's going to rotate, the arms are going to work down, and then the body's going to rotate. And that sort of sequence where we go one, two, down, that sort of sequence is exactly what we're looking for to be able to swing the club a lot more neutral. Then, obviously, we've got to start making sure we get the timing right, the club face control right, the club face as we start to strike the ball has got to be as neutral as possible. Now, often when we start maybe trying to do this, turn, down, turn, I'd often see golfers, when we're, when we're learning this, when we're practicing this on the driving range, club face will be wide open. That's only because you're focusing on other things. It's not because it suddenly made you start doing that. It kind of has, but it hasn't, if you know what I mean. It's, it's your timing. You can't piece 
every single piece of the jigsaw together straight away. It just needs to be timed in. So I would often say, just get on the range, be slow, take your time with your, with your routine, take your time with your practice. One, two, feel that down, feel that turn. And the better you start to turn on the way through, the better your shoulders start to rotate on the way through, you've got more chance of making the club face square. And then from that position, you can start to feel the club working more on the inside and you start to feel and see a better ball flight because you've got lot less backspin. Whew. You've got a lot less backspin and you've got a more flatter, calmer ball flight that doesn't veer off all over the place, which is what we don't like to see, isn't it? So guys, do give this tip a try. It's a fantastic one. Arms up, turn your body, arms down turn your body the club gets back on the inside and you start to understand how all the joints work how your body starts to rotate how your arms and your shoulders start to load up into the top of the backswing and then they work together with the body it's like a it's like what pete cowan said it's a spiraling motion upwards spiral staircase you're turning upwards as hank haney was saying this is a great drill arms up turn your body get the club in behind release it back down so this drill will take patience because when you start looking at the ball flight you are going to see some very interesting shots as you always would do when you're changing your golf swing so stay patient give it a try because it 100 percent works it absolutely works so do give it a try also drop in the comment section below if you've tried this one already how did it go and actually come back to this video go and go on the driving range please go and test it go and try it be persevere with it for one or two weeks and just really try and ingrain this into your into your golf swing and then pop back onto this video and tell me how your practice has gone if anybody would like some specialized golf tips and a golf lesson directly created to your golf swing you can find me on the skillist app the link is in the description below i will do one i can do one-to-one -one golf lessons with you on zoom or on the golf course and we can make your goal we can make these tips a lot more specific to what you need as well but guys as ever thank you very much for watching please do hit that subscribe button click the bell for notifications and i'll see you in the next video